Get ready, Florida. It's time for the Honda NHL Accuracy Shooting. Your all-stars for this event are from the Calgary Flames, Nazem Kadri. From the Tampa Bay Lightning, Nikita Kucherov. From the New York Rangers, Artemi Panarin. From the New York Islanders, Brock Nelson. From the Edmonton Oilers, Leon Dreisaitl. From the New Jersey Devils, Jack Hughes. From the St. Louis Blues, Vladimir Tarasenko. From the Philadelphia Flyers, Kevin Hayes. From your Florida Panthers, Alexander Barkov. And from the Edmonton Oilers, Connor McDavid. So Connor McDavid will go last, <laughs> switching events this year. And it will be interesting to see if he can make his mark on another one of the competitions. Now mentioned Sebastian Ajo winning last year, two years ago. It was his teammate, Jacob Slavin, with the fastest time. This is the 10th time the event has been a timed event, and Slavin hit all four targets, 9.505 in 2020 who you got well you know mcdavid scored more than anybody in the league right now and he's got to be a favorite but the difference here you know everything he does is at fast speed and he does it so instinctively well this is so different it's just you standing out there it's like nothing you do in the game and like everything the nerves can kind of get to you you miss one and all of a sudden it seeps into your mind and it's hard to get it back on track so 10 competitors and Four will go to a pair of semifinals, and Nazem Kadri first up. The leading goal scorer for the Calgary Flames this year with 19, and he'll get passes from Seth Jones, and off to a good start. Got two. Needs one more, and got it. 13.459. Pretty good start. Yeah, good rhythm there. And of course, is Rebecca Johnston, part of the Calgary Flames, <laughs> supplying some good passes there. Always settles you in when you get that first one. You can just calm down a little bit to get your confidence. A couple of goal posts there, but it didn't rattle him. And that last one, just perfect, tucked right in the corner. That's a pretty good number to set as the first one to go after. Second up, Nikita Kucherov at the other end, getting passes here from Bo Horvat and Nick Suzuki, leading assist man in the league. And he's going to have to hustle here. Not going to beat Kadri. 18.147 for Kucherov. Well, you saw that when he missed a couple. I think his first one went like right in the middle of the net, and so. You got to say, okay, I got to get my sights down. And he had a couple that he just barely nicked. His third one caught the corner and a couple of chirps as you're going to get. Hey, Brady, your dad was a co-winner of this event in 1999. Does he still pull out the tapes? I don't know. We, we haven't watched it in a while, but I remember 09, he was a passer. I think he was giving muffins that time. <laughs> Winner at 99. We're watching our Timmy Panera now taking passes from Jones and Johnston. Whoops. How'd you do in this event uh, at the Senator skills, Brady? Oh, 
was just trying to rip the puck. I missed the first couple, and I was like, I'm already embarrassed. So uh, I guess I go for the hardest shot during that uh, competition. It is so different, isn't it, when everybody's watching you and you're standing still and all the focus. It's it's so unlike a game situation. Yeah, it's, uh, it's weird. It's usually, you know, all eyes on you. You're, you're used to it because you're in the middle of a game, but once you're doing a skill and, and I've been joking around, None of these skills usually fit my game, so it's always uh, even that more nerve-wracking. Hey, Brady, we know the Kachucks will have a great time this weekend. Thanks for being with us. I appreciate it. Have a good one, guys. Well, here's Brock Nelson of the New York Islanders. 19 gold man this year on pace for his second straight 30, and that's impressive. There's your leader at 12.126 for the War Road Minnesota native. Well, and you watch Brock Nelson play, and so often you just look at his calmness. How about this? He's taken a little bit off of it. He's not trying to rip it like Panarin just did, and he did it so effectively. It's almost like he just calmed himself down, slowed his release, and... He did it extremely effectively. Well, this will be interesting. Next man up. From the Edmonton Oilers, it's Leon Dreisaitl. Second in league scoring and now finding the mark. Not working for him here. That I was going to ask you about the big paddle in this competition. Yeah. Well, I think for Dreisaitl, he's such a good one-timer of the puck almost like that that would be better for him now you're just wanting to dig yourself a hole yeah that just... <laughs> that's the reality as brady was just saying yeah backhander you're a good backhand <laughs> shot where's the trap door when you need it even the best can be humbled a little yeah. bit by this competition uh, not what he had intended but uh maybe a little turks and caicos rust on well, Leon he's such a good goal scorer. He, he's got such great vision and ability. I, I like this. He is <laughs> one of the best hit backhand passers, if not the best in the league. But yeah, that's a that's a tough feeling when the puck just won't go where you need it to. Well, Jack Hughes is next. What a remarkable season he's having. 33 goals, taking the league by storm. That Brock Nelson time looks pretty good, doesn't it? Two for Hughes. But he will not be moving on. Oh, and he's been settling it down each time. The first two, he tried to shoot, just capture it and shoot it quickly, and it kind of jumped up on him a few. So he's been doing dust it off, and that adds time to it. And he ends up finally getting the fourth. So Nelson has set the pace. Well, even the little thing of which side do you look? You saw the one time he was looking to his right. The pass came from his left, and you got to just quickly adjust on the fly. I think we buried the lead here, too. Styrofoam is back. After all the electronics and whatever, here's Vlad Tarasenko of the St. Louis Blues, at least for the time being. Lots of speculation of how long he will be a St. Louis Blue. And even he has said he's not too sure. Having trouble finding the range here as well. And he won't be moving on to the final four in the accuracy competition. 25.062 for a six-time 30 goal man, Vladdy Tarasenko. Yeah, it's just the first, what, three or four shots were nowhere close, and so now you're just trying to get through it as you saw as Dreisaitl did. I love the styrofoam, though. It, it, much better than hitting the targets that they were. I think everyone, as a kid, likes to look and see the thing explode when you hit it. Targets are 15 inches wide, and... Uh, they're shooting from 25 feet away. Next up, Kevin Hayes of the Philadelphia Flyers. Again, getting off to a great start, but hitting that lower left target. Now he's got two. We do know that Coach Tortorella probably not watching Kevin Hayes here tonight. Oh, what a weekend it is for Kevin. Well, good for Kevin. Yeah, really good. And does a good job of getting all four. And Brock Nelson can settle back down again. Just a great story for him to get to be here and all the history he's had and 
really looking forward to just enjoying this time. His late brother Jimmy said one day you're going to be an all-star and he brought Jimmy's son Bo to this all-star weekend. Well, here will be the people's choice in this event. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Cue the crowd. Great Alexander Barkov added when Austin Matthews couldn't make it off to a good start here. But he won't challenge Brock Nelson either. Still two more to go. Needs one more. Put that one under. And can't get target number four until 25.297. Well, he, the home crowd looked like he was going to get off to a great start. He hit the first target with his first, but once you miss a few, it just, as I said, seeps inside of your confidence and took a while. And now it's left to Connor McDavid as everyone was looking forward to seeing how he was going to handle this. Can he get after Brock Nelson? All right, time to beat 18.147 of Nikita Kucherov. Off to a good start. Two for two. Look at Brock Nelson. Four for four. Yay, point four nine seven. And that's the highlight of the night so oh. far. This guy's pretty good. You know, the great ones can just sort of write their own script, can't they? He said, I'm going to stay out of the fastest skater, let somebody else do it. I think this is a year where I should focus on this. And man, when he focuses on things, it's just incredible what he can do just sets calmness there three for three and bang it's almost like you just expected it once the third one hit in a row it's almost a given that he's not going to miss the other one coming into this all-star game with more points than jb ben had when he won the scoring title seven years ago connor mcdavid the fastest going four for four 9.497 we mentioned slavin at 9.505 in 2020 that's the fastest and yet gonna have to do it again later in the semifinals. it's time to decide the winner of the honda nhl accuracy shooting so let's get to the matchups in the first semifinal. Brock Nelson faces Artemi Panarin. And in the second semifinal, Connor McDavid goes shot for shot with Nazem Kadri. South Florida makes some noise. Here we go. Again, a new second layer to this competition, and it means 9.497 for McDavid, which was a record, may not be a winning time tonight. Well, you got to do it now. You've got the head to head competition, this first semifinal. Whoever gets it quicker moves on to the final, and the same with the McDavid. And Kadri, I do love the fact that you have the rivalries, the New York State rival and the Alberta Provincial Rivals. Darlene will pass to Panarin. It's Eric Carlson to Brock Nelson. Second fastest time in the first round for Nelson at 12.126. Panarin was 13.235. So here we go. Nelson off and running. And Panarin struggling and Nelson unable to add to the lead yet. There's two for Brock Nelson. Nelson's got three. I think he thought he had the other, and he does have four. Yeah, he got that one just a little bit of a tip on it. I mentioned the first time Nelson kind of slowed himself down, and he got rushing a little bit. You could see Panarin missing for that top right, couldn't get it. But then Nelson just settled himself down, held it for an extra second or two, and much like he did the first time, once he slowed it down, his accuracy was fantastic. Been a pretty good night for the Canadian Snowbirds so far. Connor Hellebeck in the Tindy tandem. Nick Suzuki won pitch and puck. The hardest shot to Vancouver Canucks. Elias Pedersen and now either McDavid or Kadri will be heading to the final in the accuracy shooting. Same passers. 
And again, an astounding 9.497 for Connor McDavid in the opening round. Now you had the first Battle of Alberta last year in the playoffs. First time since 1991. It'd be a much different one if you got Kadri now in the mix going up against McDavid if they can possibly do it again. Should mention Daniel Sedin, 8.9 in 2011. So here we go. McDavid's not gonna miss. Three for three again. One more double clutch, but no mistake, 10.6. Kadri, 10.13. Kadri got it first, I think. Yeah. And McDavid handled it a couple of times, making sure, trying to get the last one. And as that was going on, your eyes are going both yeah. ways. But the double clutch might have cost him. And how about Kadri who caught up? So you look at how quickly Kadri's just catch and release. He's shooting as quickly as he can. And that technique just got it right before as a couple of seconds as McDavid stick handled. That might have cost him that last little bit. And doesn't that tell you a little bit about Nazem Kadri? He is a competitor. Absolutely. So this will be interesting. As they said, Nelson going slowly, methodically. Kadri, without question. He and Carlson must have had a little discussion. Just keep firing the pucks to me a little quicker. 10.131 for Kadri. Nelson, 17.886. And I'm guessing maybe a little advantage. Kadri going right back to it. A little momentum, perhaps, or in rhythm. Here we go. Just get a couple more for Kadri. Got one more pass before... We officially, and now the clock doesn't matter who gets four first. And Nelson off, two for two. Kadri's got one. Now, Nelson three, two. And Nelson's your winner. 12.419, but in the final, who gets four targets first? And it is Brock Nelson of the New York Islanders. And slow and steady, just really methodical as Kadri had the quicker passes, got more shots off, but Nelson, the accuracy ends up. He's the champ, there's his new teammate. It'll be interesting, a couple of good centermen and adding Horvat to the mix will be a lot of help for Brock Nelson as well. So Brock Nelson through three rounds. And his new teammate, Bo Horvat, likes the look of that. On pace for his second or seventh consecutive 20 goal season. And David's with the champ. All right, thanks so much, Brock Nelson. First All-Star experience here. You know, it's funny, I asked Sidney Crosby when I got to the Final Four, I said, who do you like in this? And he said, you know what, Brock Nelson, sneaky good. Maybe yeah. you're not that sneaky uh, anymore. I appreciate that from Sid. Yeah, I skated with him a few times. Uh, just out here having fun. That was a good time. Uh, I liked the format, and it was a good, good experience. Uh, now, was there some synergy there? Rossmus was you, you asking it for in a certain spot? Uh, no, I think the lefty to lefty, I think I like that uh, pass. I wanted ball early, too, in the, in the first round. So, uh, that was a good matchup. One last thing, you've been in the league a while, but this is your first All-Star experience. When you look around and, you know, there's just a lot of iconic hockey players here. You know, what's it been like for you to get to know some of these guys on a different level? It's really fun. It's fun for me. Uh, PK just said I got my kids here. My son's at a fun age where he's kind of getting excited to meet some guys. So it's been fun to have him around the room, get some picks, kind of soak it all in. Congratulations. Really appreciate it, Brock. Thank you.